Hey, we're going to be talking about guides, all things, all things guides, which is like my favorite topic. I hope it's your favorite topic. If it's not, by the end of this video, it will be your favorite topic. I'm telling you. And if you put guide in the comments below, you are going to get a guide, your very own guide. Now, some of you have done this already with me, but I redid the guides. I redid them. I hope I'm on the right page. Let me make sure I'm on the right page. Yep, I am. I am. I'm on the right page. Okay. So I'm going to wait till a few of you join me and uh, we talk about it. Okay. There, I'm on the right page. That's my puppy. We all know Micah, right? Um, so we're going to be talking about guides and what is a guide and how to use a guide. And do you want to come in? You want to lay down? Would you like to say hello to everyone? Okay, say hello to everyone. Say hi. All right, I'm just waiting until people join. Hi, everyone. Okay, that's Micah. And that's Vivi. And that's the rain. It's raining out, and I love it. All right, so hello. Hello, Debbie. Hello, Amy. Hello, Angie. Hello, Lisa. Um, so what is a guide? We're going to talk about guides. And so I channeled guides. A lot of you got these guides, but I redid them. So the list was once one to 10, then it was one to 15. Now it's one to 10 again. And I rewrote them and rechanneled them a bit. They're somewhat the same, but I added some stuff to it. But here's the thing. I also added a personalized channeled message. So when you get this guide, you're gonna get also a personalized message. You're gonna get a see and feel meditation. There's a lot of stuff that you're gonna get with this. I also am doing two bonus calls in December and January that you're going to hear about. So in December, this is, um, you're going to get a, there's a call that I'm doing where we're going to work with, I do these in SFA, Soul Finder Academy, where I do these soul sessions where I teach them how to channel. So in December, um, I'm going to tell you how you can possibly join this call. It's a bonus call where we're going to work with a specific tarot card. You're going to work with your clairvoyancy ability, the clear seeing. And we're going to work on letting go of 2020, but we're also going to learn on uh, work on what to keep in 2020, right? Because there's certain things in 2020 that may have been like so devastating and exhausting and, you know, so much stuff going on. But there was also a lot of waking up, a lot of consciousness, a lot of amazing things. So in that particular call, which we're doing in the early stages of December, um, we're going to learn you're going to learn how to use clairvoyancy and how to release. And then in January, we're going to do a special call where we're going to layer clairvoyancy with clair audience working with a tarot card. And you're going to learn how to visualize and invite in and own what it is that you want to create. It's a really big, great tool. So you're going to hear more about that as you join into this thing. So um, write guide. Um, I got several furry guides in my house. Let me tell you. Hi, Scott. Nice to see you. Hi, Moira from Alaska. Janet and Michelle. Hello, hello, hello. Um, <laughs> Janice, Michelle's cat just typed 9080. If you haven't heard my most recent podcast, I talked about numbers and how numbers are significant. And uh, so let's do 9080 real quick. So we'll do a little group reading with 9080, and then we're going to talk about what are guides and how you can use your guides and how it's really important, especially now in this time in the world, to really get in touch with your guides. So 9, 9080, I'm going to give a reading to all of you and based on that number. So 9 is a soul number. It's a really, really important number. It's also an ending of a cycle. So spirit is saying that you were, this is for everybody, that everybody is coming to an end of a particular cycle, a cycle that's been very transformative, life-changing, altering, uh, growing. I feel like a lot of clear audience, clear hearing, a lot of speaking your truth, a lot of being in your truth, whether you're speaking it out loud, but you're doing it for yourself. A lot of heart opening energy, but coming to an end of it because you're coming towards the end of wanting to not wanting to struggle anymore. You're done with struggle and you're making a conscious choice not to struggle. Some of you are still in struggle and think you have to choose struggle. And those of you who don't that you recognize you can choose out of struggle. You're choosing out of struggle. 
The zero is like the fool card. It's like taking a risk. So spirit's saying, okay, we're ending the cycle of struggle and we're going to take a risk into consciousness, a risk into the things that you really want to live. That's why you should do Marilyn's calls that she's going to tell you about, not this particular live, but those calls where you're going to let go of 20, 20 and really invite in 2021 with your consciousness, with your awareness. So the zero is about taking a risk and jumping into the routine, the risks and the things that you want to do, finally doing what it is you want to do. And then the eight is all about business. It's about being in, in, um, in your business and what you want to do, how you want to serve community, how you want to make money, how you want to live abundantly, how you want to live your life. And then you're going to trust it so much that you're going to jump into another risk taking experience and be even more in the power of who you are, why you came here, why you were birthed here, why you're born during this particular time, what your purpose is. I don't like the word purpose, but let's just use it for right now. And then it adds up to a 17, which is about new beginnings in your life. So it's a very powerful time to be in new beginnings. And sevens are about developing your psychic ability so that you know what spirit is saying to you, because we're going to talk about guides today, right? So you have to know what your guides are talking to you in the symbolic language of your soul, which I talked about in my podcast last week, which you should all watch, which is why I'm doing the numbers right now, because I talked about numbers and their significance. So it's developing your psychic skills so you know how your guides are talking to you, not just through your regular senses, but with your extra sensory senses because that's what you need to be using and then it adds to an eight again an eight infinite intelligence why we're here the experience so thank you michelle's cat whoops <laughs> for sharing that number thank you michelle's cat all right guys here goes so here's the cool thing for you that really love that melissa thank you hi melissa um, so I want you to pay attention, put in guide. You're going to learn about a, a special bonus class that I'm doing and how to join it. It's not for free. Um, it's a class that, but it doesn't cost like an incredible amount of money. And you're going to learn, we're going to come together in a soul session. And I'm starting to teach people how to channel, really teach them. Like I've had channeling classes, but I'm starting to give my trade secrets away which I really not, they're really great. Okay, so what is a guide? So if you're just joining me, put the word guide in, you're gonna get your very own guide. These are new, somewhat new guides. They have the same names, but I've amped them up a bit. I also channeled a message for every single guide. So you're gonna get a specialized message. You're gonna get a meditation on how to see and feel them, all of that. Now, thank you. April, you're a member. April's in membership for your soul. And I'm gonna be teaching you guys a class on how to interpret numbers. So that's going to be um, in membership probably late January, early February. So uh, just hang on tight, girl, because I'm going to finally teach you all how to read numbers. Hi, Carolee. How are you, sweetie? Hi, Gia. Okay, so what is a guide? Tell me what you think a guide is. Tell me what you think a guide is, because that's really important. And here's the thing. I So I want to tell you a story. I have stories, right? And of course, I have another podcast coming out Thursday. And if you have not subscribed to my podcast, who can it be now? leave my page just go i'm kidding i really want you to join my podcast because i'm really putting my heart and soul into it all right um so what is a guide what is a guide hi marina hi amy hi mary hi linda hi dale i'm just waiting for you guys to answer what is a guide all right so very early on in my career television producers were um, inviting me to do TV shows. They were like, we wanna do a TV show with you. You've got a lot of personality. You're really good at what you do, blah, 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 blah. So one of the producers, they do a sizzle reel, right? So they do a reel that um, to pitch like what the show would look like. And they were interviewing me and they asked me what I believe to happen on the other side when we pass, what happens when we die. And I told them what I thought to be true. And I said to them, but this is what I believe today. I don't know what I'll believe tomorrow because I don't cap out any of my wisdom. I don't stop my, my infinite intelligence from growing. So this is what I know today, but I don't know what I'll know tomorrow. Tomorrow may be different. You may ask me tomorrow and I may have a different understanding of it all. And I, I didn't like that answer you're going to hear in my uh, podcast on Thursday, some of my personal stories, like where my higher self takes over. And when I heard that answer come out of my mouth, I was like, that makes so much sense because I don't want to be one of these mediums that puts myself in a box and believes only one thing and doesn't allow myself to continue to grow and educate myself. 
So what I share with you today about what a guide is, I want you to recognize that this is what I believe today, but this may shift tomorrow. I want you all to start inviting in learning and being in a way that is not boxed in, that allows you to go with the flow of life. And when you invite in, I know a lot of my members and people in SFA do this, when you invite that kind of living in, the possibilities are endless. It's, it's amazing what happens in your life because you're not capping yourself out. You're not putting yourself in scarcity. You're not putting yourself up against the wall. You're allowing life to reveal itself to you. So let's see what people say guides are and then we're gonna talk about it from my perspective. Uh, oh, I love these answers and it wasn't where I was gonna go. Oh, thanks, you like my podcast, thank you. A guide is a spirit angel, MK, hi Kay. Uh, Melissa says, I want to say compass. Very true. All of these are true so far. Another soul in my family that assists upon asking. I love these answers. Answers. There's my Brooklyn accent. Should I do it in a Brooklyn accent? A guide is support from other worlds, realms. Great. Okay, I'm going to take a couple more. Spirit, there is to help us. Carolee. And Carolee, I sent you an email, by the way. You're going to get it. A guide is a voice in my head that tells me whether something is right for me or not. Love it. Amy, a spirit that gives you, giving you messages, tells, shows what you need to pay attention to. These are so good. So good. EJ says, guide is a higher being assisting in our ascension. Hello, EJ. Great. Guide is a compass. Another one said compass. A guide is a spirit who is with you throughout your life. Okay. These are really great. And I would say that all of this is correct. All of this. And I really love this. And I love that you have such an open understanding of what a guide is. So those of you who are just joining, type in the word guide and you're gonna get your own very own guide. So when I was asking what a guide is, I was thinking more of some people are confused at what a guide is in terms of what a guide can be. So guides can be deceased loved ones. They can be angels, ascended masters. They can be trees, they can be planets. They could be crystals, they could be rocks, they could be color and light. It's basically energy. It's energy that reflects our highest stru truth and our soul. So really anything can be a guide if we feel that we're in direct, it, like it speaks to us it, no matter what, like it's got something for us, available to us. Um, I talk about this a bit on my podcast about what it means when you speak to deceased loved ones and why I usually suggest that people don't do that right off the bat. And you'll have to listen to the podcast to hear that. And I also talk about um, why, oh, I forgot what else I was going to say. So it doesn't really matter. But anyway, so that's what guides can be. Like they can be planets. You could be talking to the moon. You could be talking to the trees outside my window. You could be talking to animals. You could be talking to physical uh, people that aren't past yet. Uh, Oprah, Tony Robbins, they used to be my guides. Like if I was going through something in my business, I'd be walking down the street and I'd be like, yo, Oprah, what do you think? And she'd be like, blah, 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 blah. And I'd be like, yeah, you're totally right. You know, and the thing is that people like in history or people in that are still living, when we're speaking to them as a guide, we're really just speaking to a higher part of ourselves because they're to, when we're attracted to certain people it's because there's something inside of us that is reflecting from them. We have what they have. So if I'm talking to Oprah, I'm tapping into Oprah's strength as a business owner, right? And as a woman who, I love Oprah, so some people might not like her, but I love her. Someone who really is not, like she speaks her mind or takes care of herself. I love the way she talks about her life. I love the way she shares her life. She doesn't apologize for her life. Like I love all of that. I love that she puts herself on, um, uh, transparency, you know, again, I don't know her. I know what she shows us. And I love that about her, but that's like, I like motivating people through story. I like motivating people through transparency. So there's things that Oprah has that I have. I don't have her billions or millions or whatever it is, but that's not to say I can't have it one day. Right. So that's what I love. Um, so I think of a sheep, I think of sheep, they inform the way, but don't walk for us. I love that. That's great. And what, what I teach people, which most people know this about me that are in my um, programs, I teach people how to trust yourself above all else. So I love an answer like that. Um, 
because it's something that's based on your own personal experience. Joya, I hope I'm saying your name right. She says, think of a Sherpa. They inform our path, but don't walk for us. I love that. That resonates so much for her. That has so much meaning. So right away, you've got the part of your life beat where you're like doubting. Instead, she anchors in right away to a truth for her own soul, a truth about guides, and she's able then to communicate. Because when you're trying to live by somebody else's rules and regulations, you, you get trapped, you get stuck. So I like to teach in a free forum. I like to give um, tools and techniques, the GPS system to your answers, right? This is how to talk to guides. These are the tools and techniques to talk to your guides. This is how you can develop your psychic skills and talk to your guides. But then I like people to meet me on that path and bring them their own souls to it so that they can have a really dynamic relationship with their guides. My my uh, students know this. I hate to say that. My community, I'm going to say, knows this, that I put them to task. Like we've been in membership for your soul. We've been together, a lot of us, for a really long time. And like Carmelie, I don't think she's going to mind me saying this. Carmelie joined membership for your soul. She used to be a case study of mine, so I know she won't mind this. She just left a battered relationship, a marriage, where she was like really feeling um, bad about herself. Right. And, you know, when you're in that kind of an abusive relationship, it's difficult. And she forgot about her own psychic abilities. So she joined membership and she started getting in touch with her psychic abilities and started developing them again. And then she started like noticing she can channel and she's got this healing information. She always has this cool stuff happening in her life. And then today she just posted in membership how she was sitting watching a cooking show. And all of a sudden she was just filled with joy. And she realized she was sitting in her house that she owns. She was watching a cooking show she loves. Her cat was next to her. In the garage was a car, her new car that she loves. She just paid the insurance for a year. And she realized how happy she was. Now, this is a woman who joined, I think, like two, three years ago. And life was like, Whoosh. So I love those stories because that's the way we're supposed to live in joy. But when people come to me and my students know this and they'll say, um, they, th I do readings in membership, right? And I don't mind doing readings. Like I just did a reading based on that number with Michelle in the early part. But I want you guys to read for yourself. I want you to be able to do, throw me a number right now and I'll do a reading for this whole group. I'll show you how quick I can read. That's what I want you to do for yourself, okay? So it's so important for me that you learn what guides are, that it resonates with your soul, and now I want to talk about how they can change your life. 18. Thank you, Angie. 18. So if this is a reading for everyone, which it is, 18, the number 18 is really important because you're embarking on a new journey. But it's a journey that Spirit's asking you that you trust yourself on, that you stop struggling and that you allow yourself to move forward. They bother my ankles, both of my ankles, and that means that you need to be flexible on your path. That if you're so stringent and stuck on your path and you're not allowing yourself to really be flexible on this path, and if you're not allowing your heart to lead you on this path, you're going to trip and fall. And they said to me that the eight keeps coming up because everybody is looking to live their life's purpose. They are done with living in a place where they're feeling trapped, stuck on a hamster wheel of their life. They're ready to move forward with their voice. They're ready to move forward in the power of being seen and heard. So everybody is ready for that. And they said, this is their soul. Their soul has been urging them to do this. Their soul has been pushing them on this path and asking them to speak their truth to the world and speak their truth to themselves. And Spirit says, tell them to stop denying themselves. They are these magical beings. Just because their life may have, this is Marilyn's words, not spirits, may have sucked up until this point, does not mean that life has to continue on that way. So be flexible, get strong in your footing, and move forward and go towards your dreams. Okay? There you go. Just gave you a reading. Tell me how that felt for you. That's what you can do for yourself based on numbers. So everybody in membership, I see a lot of you joining. I'm going to be teaching you how to use numbers in early February, late January. Um, so what I want to talk to you. So now you know what a guide is. So let's really get into this. Let's have some fun today. I feel really, really. <sighs> what is a dream? 
that you really, really would love to manifest in 2021. Now, here's the thing I want to say to you. I, I put up a post the other day on my business page asking what was missing from your tool. What would you need in your toolbox to like make yourself happy? And when people write on my post $2 million, like I want to reach through and smack them in the face. I really do. Because it's not, then I said to them, okay, great. You want $2 million. I don't have a problem with that. I think that's wonderful. What are you doing to make that happen? Because that I know is a response that's coming to me from a place of, for most people who respond that way, they're waiting, they're sitting back. They're waiting for something to happen and change in their life. They're not making their life change. They're not doing what they need to do to make themselves make $2 million. So I, I questioned it again. I went back on my post because I'm not putting up with any shit anymore. People who just want to sit back and not do anything in their life, don't follow me. Trust me. I'm just going to piss you off. So I wrote back and I said, so what are you doing to make this happen? And Jocelyn was one of them. She responded. She said, I am really working on making this happen. And somebody else did too. I love that. That makes me happy. But those people that are just sitting back waiting for someone else to do it for them, I'm not the person to follow because I'm going to teach you with your guides how to co-create a life that you're meant to live, a life that you desire, a life that makes you so happy. I'm like, I was writing to a psychic that I'm going to bring on. She's a really famous psychic. She's really good. And I want her to come on and talk about her relationship with God with all of you. So I was writing her an email and we're, we're friends and everything. And I was like, oh my goodness, I'm having like this, I'm writing this from my house and it's raining outside. And I had a great tennis game last night and I just had a delicious lunch. And after this, I'm going to go bake. And I had a great hike this morning with my dogs. Who doesn't want that life? And you all can have it. I'm not any different than any of you. The only thing that I think I'm different, maybe you aren't there yet and you may be there. I don't take, I, I'm not going to sit back and have a shitty life. I'm done with that. I have never been one of these people that's like, oh, I'm in a crappy job. I'm going to stay here. I'm like, uh-uh, I don't like this place. I'm going to find something better. So that's what I want for all of you. Okay, so let's see what people want for next year. Let's get some of these answers and let's continue on. Um, oh, I'm so glad, Ang Angie, that resonated with you. Uh, walk the Camino. I love this, Melissa. Let's. We're going to talk about this. I love this. Walk the Camino. Oh, thanks. Loved it. Good, Doris. Uh, optimal health. Yes, I want that for you too, sweetie. Optimal health, happiness, and peace. Beautiful. Very clear. Very clear. Now, what I would ask you to do, Melissa, and anybody else, and I know what's going on with you, but what brings you happiness? What brings you peace? I think peace is a very, very interesting word because uh, there's too much to say about that. It's going to go into my podcast. But inner peace is something that I think a lot of us are continuing to work through, right? So we can happiness and peace you can have now, even with you've got some major big struggles happening, right? For the lack of a better word of saying it. But one thing that spirit has taught me is that I, I have this moment and I have how I feel about this moment. So, you know, me, I'm very transparent and honest. So if I'm going through something, I'm going through it. I'm an emotional person. I go through my emotions and everything. And spirit constantly brings me home in those moments. And they're like, okay, they did it to me. I think it was last night. I was having a great night. I had a great tennis game and everything. And I was reading a novel and I was like having fun and, and I was doing my gratitude list and spirits like, okay, what are you grateful for right in this moment? And I say what I'm grateful for, and it just brings me to that happiness, sweetie. So I love that. All right. I'm going to keep going. Huh. Oof. I don't, I don't know a lot about this, Lucy, but I'm going to say a religious exemption for mandatory vaccines for healthcare workers. I'm going to have to agree with you on that one, sweetie. Hmm. Um, I don't, uh, discuss worldview, whatever, but that's a big deal. Like I didn't know that was even happening. So I'm sorry. You're obviously a healthcare worker and I don't think anybody, I have a friend who's a school teacher, right? And there's certain things like she's a school teacher for special ed and they have to go in and they have to do certain things. And she's such a good teacher. And I'm like, oh my goodness, it must be so hard to be in a job where you're told you have to do something. Like I have so much freedom. So I really feel for people that are in these positions of 
um, working in these these jobs right now that put them in a little bit of difficulty and then they're told they have to do something. So my heart goes out to you. And I hope I'm understanding that right. Cause I don't read the news. I'm like, I'm like one of those, I really, you know, if I didn't play so much tennis, I would be a little hermit. Okay. Um, success. I love this, Christine. Great. Successful six figure coaching business. This is great. I love God too, Melissa. April says the felt half on and amazingly, I just heard 18 when you started in, I'm moving forward with open arms, just rejuvenated with instant last week on Myrtle beach, living life in the fullest every day now. Okay. But April, that's not specific enough for me. And you know, I get on you about this. So I want really like Linda says radiant health. So we want to break this down. Okay. Um, Joya says, I want to make more money in my coaching business. I ever did working for someone else. I love this. Okay. We're, let's get really, really specific. Okay. Let's now make it really specific. Like Melissa said, health and um, Christine's six figure coaching business. Um, uh, Luce said she doesn't want to do mandatory vaccines. Great. Um, oh, Maurice, sending you love, sending you love, sending you love. Don't want you to be sick. Spiritual growth and happiness. I want more specific, but it's good. It's really, really good. So this is all, these are all good things. I'm not saying you're doing it wrong. Um, I like this, Linda, a deeper surrender to my faith. Okay. So great. All right. So we all have, yes, I'm an RN. Sending you tons of love, Lucy. Really, really sending you a ton of love, honey. Uh, we have a lot of nurses in membership for your soul and the amount of like, I just, my heart goes out to you guys, okay? Uh, okay, great. So people have what you want. Those of you just joining, put in guide. I got a little sidetrack, so let's keep going. Okay, so let's all, uh, what are we gonna do? Let's see. So we all have a dream that we want for next year. Do you recognize how your guides can help you to get there? Do you know how your guides can help you get there? I'm gonna play a game with all of you. I've just decided it right now. I want you to think of a question that you have based on this goal, like um, six figures. What can I do to bring in six figures for my career? What can I do to have a deeper faith with uh, to surrender more into my faith? What can I do to um, be clearer about my goals? What can I do to um, raise my energy and 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 feel more healthy? Um, so think about a, a question that you have right now about your life. Think about a question you have about your life. Everybody take a moment to do that. Love that April. Very clear. Okay. Think about a question that you have. I'm going to do this with you because it helps. Okay. And the best way to ask a question is to, to, not do a yes or no, but to do more of exploratory. What do I need to know? Like I'm asking about my move. I'm totally fine. I've got like spirits, like you're not going to know till February, March, let it go. That's how clear my guides are. Right. So I'm like, all right, don't worry about it then. But what do I need to know about my move? Um, where do I need to open up to learn more about what I need to about my move? Well, um, what do I need to open up in my life to know more about my move? Um, who do I need to talk to about my move? Like things like that. Those are the questions that you want to ask. Okay. So everybody got a question. Give me the likes, the loves. If you got the question, you got the question, let me know. And then now I want everybody to tell me what a butterfly means to them. What does a butterfly mean to them? What does a butterfly mean to them? So Lucy, you, this is a great question. So right now you're saying refuse the vaccine, lose my job or take a leap of faith and say no. The thing is, is like, this is a yes or no. So what do you need to know about yourself right now in order to stand up to your truth? What do you need to know about this situation right now? What do you like? The, the thing about it is a lot of times we ask questions from a bracketed place, from a scarcity place, from anxiety, and we want to ask from a place of possibilities. So we, I all just gave you butterfly. What does a butterfly mean to you right now? So tell me what a butterfly means to you. We're going to keep this going on and on and on. So a butterfly means <clears throat> metamorphosis. Um, Butterfly means beautiful transformation, Lisa says. MK says freedom. Uh, EJ says free transformation. 
Um, Joyous says a butterfly is God, just like I am. Love that. Very, very clear. Um, Mark says deceased loved one getting our beauty rebirth. Great. Linda says movement. Okay, good. We've got all the answers. All right. Okay. The butterfly. I'm going to wait till this, they come in. Okay. The butterfly just gave you another symbol. What symbol did it give you? The butterfly just gave you another symbol. What symbol did it give you? So let the butterfly speak to you. The butterfly is working as a guide right now. It already told you what it means. Now it's giving you another symbol. What symbol does it did it give you? What symbol did it give you? I'm going to wait for the answers. These are really good, by the way. This is the symbolic language of your soul. You're all answering this based on your own life experience, which is really good. So Paula says a hornet. Gia said a blade of grass. Teresa said a doorbell. Ooh, Noelle, I love it. Tilt my head towards the sun. Communication, very good. Okay. Um, rainbow popped into my head. You're trusting it. This is really good. This is how your guides communicate. You're all communicating right now. Doris got heart. Carol Lee got fairy dust. Great. Linda got freedom and wings. Okay. So now you all have this next layer of communication, which is a symbol from the symbol of the butterfly. You have the meaning of the butterfly, which you all based on your own personal life experience. Everybody had different answers. Now this next symbol is singing a song to you. What are you hearing? What is it saying? What song is it singing to you? So the key, Rushan, is singing something to you. The dragonfly, Janet, is singing something to you. Hello, Elizabeth. Um, so what is this symbol singing to you now? Let it sing a song to you. Let it sing a song. Let it really speak to you. And then tell me what it is. Tell me what it is. Tell me what it is. I'm waiting. This might trip you up. This is Claire audience. So I want you to hear. I really want you to hear. Let it go, Sue got. Great. Mm. Yesterday, great. Mark got yesterday. I will survive. Love it, Debbie. Love it, love it. On the wings of an angel, great. When the saints come marching in, Teresa, <laughs> good job. Slip sliding away. Love it, April. Sunrise, a beautiful day. Great. Okay. So now we have what the butterfly means. We have the new symbol who gave you a song. Now you have the song, the words of the song. Now that new symbol is going to give you a famous person. Who is the famous person? And what is the character trait that that famous person has? Who is the famous person and what character trait does that famous person have? I'm, I'm flying by the seat of my pants right now. No words, church choral music. Noel, that's really good. So when you get no words, you wanna lean into the music and see how it feels. You wanna lean into the music no matter what. You After this, I would suggest all of you go and listen to the song and read the lyrics because there's more messages here for you, okay? So I'm waiting till the famous person and the character trait that you got. So Jackie O'Kennedy, beauty, beauty uh, Gia got. And those of you just joining, I have a guide for you. So put in the word guide and you're gonna get a guide. You're gonna get a channeled message. You're gonna get a meditation. There's a lot you're gonna get. You're also gonna hear about two kick-ass bonus calls that I have, how to join those calls. There are There is money involved, but they're gonna be great because we're gonna let go of 2020 and invite in 2021 using clairvoyancy and clairaudience. I'm gonna teach you guys how to read for yourself as well as I read. Um, Taylor Swift creatively telling her stories. Love this. Um, Dale said, Judy Garland's strength. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Jerry Shirley Temple. Lucy, oh my goodness. Going so far. Flores Science Scale. She carries the light. Love that, Lucy. Christine Glenn got guide. I don't know who your person was, though. Um, you got to give me a character trait. You can't just say Queen Victoria, Angie. Just want you to learn how to play. Oh, hello, Maurice. Back to reality, soul to soul. Oh, you're all putting guide in for the word. <laughs> 
I'll get it right one day. Uh, Lincoln Unity. Love it. Love it. Adam Lambert. Okay. So now I want you all to, if you feel comfortable, write down what your question was. You pay attention to me, okay? Because you're all going to put this in a post. What your question was, what the butterfly meant, what the symbol sang, and the character trait. Okay, so let me repeat this. Let me type it on the screen. So you're going to write down the question. Whoops, where'd it go? Hey, show. The question you had, the, what the butterfly meant, the song you heard, and the character trait. Okay, so you're going to do that all in one post, though, because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you how to read. So if you do this, I'm going to do a reading for you. So you're going to write down whatever the question was, what the butterfly meant to you, the song you heard, and the character trait, okay? So I know it takes a little while for it to show up, but you have to put it all in one post. I'm not gonna go searching your name out. It has to be in one post. So Gia, redo that all in one post. Don't just put your question, put, so if your question is what is my best area of focus this month, what the butterfly meant right after it, the song you heard. So you have to do it all in one post, <laughs> all in one post. So. If my question was a nurse symbol, but the old rugged cross carry the light lamp. Huh. Okay. Should I continue to get vaccine? A nurse symbol. So what did the butterfly mean to you, Lucy? The old rugged cross carry the light and lamp. So what this would mean to me by looking at this is you really, really take your work seriously but you're feeling right now that you're being crucified to some degree, that you have to carry out these burdens in order to do the work that you love to do. But spirit right now is handing you a light, a lamp, and asking you to see another way. Because that reminds me of the hermit card. And the hermit card is about being your own guru. So spirit's saying, pave your own path. Do your own thing. Go in there with your light. But you don't have to go in fighting and duking and feeling like you're a victim, like crucified on the cross. You can go in saying, hey, this is my light. This is my lamp. This is what I feel. I love what I do for a living. This is important to me. But it's not okay for you to ask me to do something that I don't feel is good for my body. How can we find another solution? Is there another solution? Because you know what? I don't know who your famous person was. If you gave me all the information, I'd be able to tell you more. Lucy, you may be a trailblazer for other nurses right now. I'm sure there's communities of nurses that feel the same way that you do. And they may be wanting somebody like you, or you may be grouping up with a bunch of people and being a trailblazer. So what I'm showing you to do, how to do with, I just did with Lucy. We'll see if we get another one who did. You have to give them all to me in one. I can't go searching for names. Okay, Carolee. Carolee's question was, what is my next best step? So this is what you all want to do. You want to take a look at your question, right? I want you all to do this with me right now. You want to take a look at your question and you want to not, I teach a dot, dot, dot technique in membership for your soul. So I teach people, Carolee's part of my program, so she knows how to work this. So you want to be able to look at it from a place of, um, I am not may not get the full answer, but I'm going to get more information for my soul to evolve. So when I sat down with my guides uh, the other day and I said, what about my move? What do I need to know? And they said, look, we don't, you're not going to know till February or March. So we just want you to stop thinking about it. Continue to do the things we ask you to do, like making a vision book and searching out places. But they said, your, your soul has to evolve before we give you the full answer. So I know not to be like this. I know to let it go and just be in the question. So Carolee's asking, what's the next step? And Spirit is saying, it's about transformation, Carolee. What choices are you making in your life that are helping you to transform? Where do you need transformation? Where do you need to shift? Where are you feeling bored? Where are you feeling stuck? What makes you feel free? 
What makes you feel like you're flying? What gives you excitement? Add more of that to your life and you're gonna know what your next best step is. Go to where things make you feel good, where you feel free and you're flying. And this girl's on fire. That's about passion. Where are you feeling inspired? Where are you feeling passionate? Where are you not feeling inspired and passionate? How can you feel more inspired and passionate in your life? What can you do to bring that in? And the strength and endurance is you have everything you need in order to change your life. That's what that says to me. So the first question, the question would be the question you have. The butterfly would represent a first step of how to look at that question. The, the song that you would get, like the, the song that you got would be steps to take, actual steps to take. Now, it could be believe in yourself, like somebody got don't stop believing. Christine, I think it was Christine who got that. And she's asking me about a six figure coaching business. So they're saying, don't stop believing, do whatever it takes to stop, not stop believing. And then the character trait is what you have in order to see it through. What do you need to ignite to see this through? I'll do another one. Okay. La la la. And for those of you just joining, type in the word guide and you're going to get your very own guide. And yes, some of you have gotten these guides before, but I rewrote them. I didn't re fully rewrite them. I added to them. I also did a channeled message. I have a lot of stuff coming down the pipe. Uh, so let me see another one. Amy. Okay. What do I need to do to be more focused, motivated, and clear on how to move forward in my business? Butterfly. Opportunity to explore the smells and colors of the world. So the butterfly is telling her how to deal with the problem, how to be with the problem how to be with the question. So right now, Amy, the butterfly is telling you to paw, to breathe, to be patient, to allow yourself to smell the roses, to allow yourself to be part of the world. Amy's in my Soul Finder Academy program and membership. And then the word, the song explored, hooked on a feeling. You have been getting really excited by the things that you've been discovering. So the, the next part of this is what is the step you need to take? Well, you need to feel hooked on a feeling. You need to feel, like you said, nothing is wrong. Everything is right. You need to feel all of that and allow that to be. Now I gotta find the rest of your thing. So then she said, famous person was Audrey Hepburn, which is elegance with an edge. That's a character trait that you're igniting in order to continue to stay focused and be motivated and to remember who you are. And being elegant with an edge in your business is going to excite you even more and open the door. Let me know if that makes sense, Amy. Okay, I'm gonna take one more, but I want you guys to do it for yourself, okay? Remember, the first thing is the symbol was the butterfly, right? So you first had your question. I didn't know I was gonna do any of this, by the way, so I want you to know this is how I work. <laughs> Sometimes, <laughs> most of the times. Um, so it gets channeled through me. So the question, the butterfly, is how to be with the question. What that means is how to open up to it, how to explore it, how to be with it. The song is the step you need to take. And that might be it. That might be just like I said about Christine, don't stop believing. Don't stop believing in yourself. That's a step. That's a mindset step, right? And then the character trait is what you need to ignite to make this happen. Does everybody understand that? Let's let's write this out real quick before I take the next one. Butterfly equals how to be with the question. The uh, song equals the step you need to take. The character traits are what you need to ignite to make it happen. And when I say what you need tonight to make it happen, you may not know what it is that's going to happen because your question is very like, I don't see the, the end result. You're not supposed to. You're in friggin' flow. But it's what you need to happen for the next thing to evolve, for the next step to show up. I'm going to just show this real quick. Why isn't it showing? Oh, you mother... <clears throat> Oh, did it show it? It did. Okay, great. So there you got it, but you can't see it all. All right. Doesn't matter. Here, I'll put it in here. There you go. Yay. 
Ah! All right, I'm gonna take one more and then we're gonna wrap this up. Remember, type in the word guide. And, sorry, I'm struggling with this. And uh, you're gonna get your free guide. Oh, hi, Sandra. So Linda said, find a publisher for my Oracle deck, Oracle cards. I love this. So Butterfly, Beautiful Transformation. So the Oracle deck is really a, a representation, representation of your soul, of your transformative beauty, your power, and what you're going to do for other people too. So being in that question, like what do I need to do to find a publisher for my Oracle deck? It's about trusting that this is what you need to do. You need to get this the Oracle deck out there because it's going to provide so much beautiful transformation for people. Freedom by the Pointer Sisters, it's gonna give you freedom. You're creating this Oracle deck for your own business, for your own freedom, for your own lifestyle. And you've gotta remember that. People, I'm gonna say this to you. Obstacles happen no matter what, no matter where you are in your life, but you have to stay clear on your intention and what you wanna create. Don't give up on your dreams just because things are becoming difficult. If it really is in your heart, you're meant to do it. And then I love Wayne Dyer, and I really fell in love with Wayne Dyer after he died. I know that sounds weird, but it's really true. And integrity, you know, you have integrity. People are really gonna benefit from these cards because they have integrity. I was just talking to someone recently. Oh, it was on my membership. We were interviewing, um, I'm so bad with names, the teacher. And uh, she, we were talking about integrity in this business, and she was very transparent about her own struggles and her life. And I was like, oh my goodness, I just wish more spiritual teachers would be more transparent and tell people this stuff so that everybody knows they're not alone. So there's a transparency and integrity to your work. So there you go. All right, guide. So do you understand how this works? Um, Do you understand how this works? Do you understand? I just want to see real quick. Uh, 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 so many in here. So, Christine, I don't know if you're still on, but I kept wanting to go back to you because you have that song. She says, what do I need to do to have a successful six-figure business? Transformational change. So there, the butterfly is suggesting there's something in the way that you're holding your business or holding the way a business has to be or a belief system or maybe it hasn't happened yet and you're wondering why it hasn't happened yet. So there's a mindset transformational thing that has to happen. So in this question, it's not what do I need to have a successful six-figure business? It's it's more of ownership that you are going to have a six figure business. So be transformational with the question, rewrite the question. Don't stop believing, don't stop believing in yourself and that this is meant to happen. And infectious energy is about getting, that is your character trait, getting that energy out there so that all the world can see that energy so that they, people, you just attract your clients. But you know, we, we um, reworked my customer avatar I don't know what's going on with my hair today. It was raining outside. So it's like, oh my goodness. So we reworked our customer avatar and we attract clients like you. And that's who I want to work with. You know, most people in my um, classes are people I want to work with. Um, so that is what I'm going to say. So guys, if you enjoyed that and uh, understand it, and you're not sitting in a place of, I don't know. So let me tell you what you do next. So let me tell you what you need to do next. What you need to do is, um, you know, Marina, I'm going to take this question because this is kind of a limiting question in a way. And I know you a little bit from the SAS experience and I know that you're open to stuff and I know that you're really working on things and we've had a nice exchange. Pretty sure it was you. Um, she says, how do I apply this to make lenders agree to my terms? I've been used, charged with high cost. Here's the thing. I don't know what your answers were, but in and of itself of that question, you're a victim. Now, I'm not saying that this stuff didn't happen to you. So I don't want you to hear like, well, Marilyn, this did happen to me and I'm really hurt. And I'm really disappointed. I'm not saying that it's not, but you're in a new, you're in a new position right now in this moment to decide not to be a victim to them taking, um, advantage of you. So a lot of times what I find is when I shift how I am in the experience, the experience shifts with me. 
So if I feel victimized by something, right? Um, I feel powerless. It very rarely happens these days, but I'm not gonna say it doesn't happen. I have to shift into a powerful place. And I have to look at the choices I made that may have put me into that victimization. And I have to make different choices and different experiences. And then you communicate from the place of power, not from the place of being angry and victimized. And it's a much different place to communicate from. So I don't know what's going on with the high cost and, but I do, do, I don't know this for sure, but if you're coming from a place of power and saying, Hey, look, I'm not paying this. I can't pay this anymore. Let me tell you a really quick story. I have a lease from Lexus and they, I kept getting like bills about things. And I'm like, why am I getting these bills? And I kept sending it over to them. Then I got a bill and it's, and I called the, the company and it was like, this was on a credit thing. And I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? My credit is stellar. Marina, I was like a pit bull. I was, a, they wouldn't, re, re, Lexus would not return my call. And I was calling the manager. I was, I went on Facebook. I started messaging. I said, look, people, you're not going to answer. Now you're going to hear from me. And I did the gamut. The, and I don't do bad reviews. I don't believe in that stuff, but they were not responding to me. They were not helping me. So I went like a pit bull and I did next door. I did Google. I did Facebook. I started going after messenger, telling them how bad they were. I kept calling. I'm like a pit bull when it comes to things. They took care of it. They took care of it. Now, if I didn't do that, people weren't returning my call. They didn't care. I wasn't, I'm the least client. And so I took all the reviews down because I said, if you fix this and they fixed it right away, right away. So I'm not saying I don't believe in bad reviews. I don't like that whole review thing. It really kind of, I don't even look at my reviews. I don't look anywhere near them. I don't even have them on the Facebook page because one woman reviewed me once and I said about a product and I was like, Oh my goodness, did you buy a product? And we're really unhappy. She's like, no, I watched like two seconds of your video and didn't like you. And I was like, you're done. Reviews are off here. I'm done. You don't get to review me because you watch what second of my video and tell me my product is bad. So don't be too nice, sweetie. Don't be a victim. You choose it. So whatever the character trait is, you take the, so this is a really great opportunity for what does it mean? Well, if the butterfly was transformation for you, it's about transforming your nature. Maybe you got a song like that was about confidence. And then maybe you got a character trait that was about being strong. Okay, honey. So that's what I'm telling you. She says, yeah, I'm too nice. See At this, I knew I could do this with Marina. Cause I gotta tell you, some people would be like, Oh, Marilyn, they wouldn't like it, but I don't attract the, I don't attract victims. I really don't. So, um, that's what I want to share with you. Okay. So, Get your guide. You're going to learn about two incredible bonus classes that I'm teaching um, and how to join those classes. Um, you're not going to learn about it probably till Friday or Monday. And it's, uh, it's going to be a really great opportunity where you're going to be able to learn how to use your clairvoyancy in a way that I do this in my soul sessions in SFA. Learn how to use your clairvoyancy so you can read for yourself. Hey, let's end this with a number. I'll do a group reading again. Um, you're gonna learn how to use your clairvoyancy and how to let go of the things in 2020 that are gripping you in a way that they shouldn't be. There are many things that came out in this past year and this year has been like, woo, right? But there's many things that woke you up to the truth of who you are. Spirit's like, okay, what are you gonna take with you into 2021? So in this bonus call, we're gonna get rid of 2020, you do a beautiful ritual in early December, and then I'm gonna take you through a process of um, being in touch with your dreams, because a lot of you don't know how to dream, you have a struggle with dreaming. And then in January, we're gonna do clairvoyancy and clairaudience, because you layer the gifts. You're gonna do clairvoyancy and clairaudience and how to make that dream a possibility, okay? So we're gonna let you know how to join that soon, but not just yet, but if you put in guide. Um, Amy, you gave me a bunch of numbers. Thank you, April. April said, you all better listen to, please subscribe to my podcast. Who can it be now? Your podcast is rocking. Thank you. All right. Amy gave us a bunch of numbers. 
This is a reading for everyone. So everybody hold. Okay, so now we did a question, right? And then we played with that question. Now what I want you to do, you should always have another question. There should always be another question. If you're doing this the way that I teach, and I teach a lot of my students, I see a lot of my students on here, they all know that there's another question now because they don't sit in periods. They don't sit in brackets. They don't sit in boxes. They know life is always evolving. There is information in every ounce of this world for us. I started channeling every day again. I didn't today, but I've been channeling like every day. And because I want to know stuff because I've been feeling like lack of clarity in my business. And then spirit like will wake me up and they'll be like, did you see this? Did you notice that? Did you realize? And you see it on Facebook and then you hear somebody say, no, 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 Okay, 252. So you now have another question. Okay. This is about partnership with your soul. It's also about partnership with the universe or partnership with guidance. It's about partnership with the part of you that is a higher self is about God. It's about partnership with your truth and not denying your truth anymore. You're all in a transformational journey and you need to accept that. Stop fighting it. Stop making it difficult. Stop making it something that's not supposed to be. And instead, explore it and enjoy it and cheerlead it. Because you didn't like where you were coming from. You didn't like what was happening. So now we're transforming the journey. And we're asking you to partner up with your soul in order to transform where you're going. So this is about a soul. You are now igniting your soul. You are now aligning with your soul. You are now choosing to live from your soul. You don't want to live from the outside in anymore. You're like, you know what? I'm done with it. Even if you consciously don't know it, you have chosen to be done with it. So you are developing your psychic skills as you move into this world from your soul, not from, from Agnes or Aunt Mary's or your mother's identification of you. You're moving from the identification of yourself. And through this identification of self, you're going to start partnering up with people in the outside world that are going to help you to optimize your business, optimize your skills, optimize your productivity. And you're also going to stop denying your truth and allow the world to see you the way that you're meant to be seen. You're going to start taking risks and they're going to be newfound risks that you're not afraid of because you know why you're now aligned with your soul. So you know that risk is worth taking and you know that whatever the result is of that risk is worth taking. And this is going to bring you to a new belief system. And you know what the biggest belief system is going to be? That you're going to start believing in yourself again. You're going to believe in yourself the way that you were meant to believe in yourself so that dreams can happen. This is leading to new beginnings which is igniting your mind, body, and soul, which is wholeness, which is where peace is born. When you're living from a place of knowing your mind, body, and soul, identifying by your own soul, by your own self, by your own identity of self, you're not identifying with what other people think about you. You're starting to marry your own trinity with yourself. You start creating new belief systems. So you believe that you're meant to be the coach. You believe you're meant to be that healer. You believe you're meant to be that psychic, that mother, that teacher, that wife, that great partner, that husband. You believe in those dreams in your heart and you make them happen. That's your reading for everybody. Okay. Um, where can you get your podcast? Anywhere. Stitcher, um, Apple. Um, wherever you listen to podcasts, who can it be now is the name of the podcast. And you could also get it on my website, actually. Let me give that to you real quick. And I teach in my podcast. So I'm always telling stories and teaching. I'm still getting it down. You know, I did the seventh episode, but um, it's, it's a work in progress. So I'm not going to lie. So here it is. You can get it on my website. All right, guys. Thank you so much. This was really a lot of fun. And I didn't know I was going to do this. And for those of you who want a guide, write in guide. Thank you, Teresa. Thanks, Paula says Spotify. Yay, Amy. Um, so put in guide. You're going to get your own guide. And then you're going to get a message from that guide, a channeled message from that guide, um, a meditation. And then you're going to get some other information on how to join um, if you want a bonus class, two bonus classes that I'm doing so that you are having a powerful 2021. All right, guys, if you really like this uh, video, please share it with your friends. 
And um, please do listen to my podcast. And thank you so much. So great seeing so many of you. And I will see you soon. Much love to all of you. Bye.